And when it comes to compulsory hijab in Iran, in Saudi Arabia, the whole world keeps silent. And it, Iranian women, in their fight against compulsory hijab, they are alone. They are on their own. And when you say it's not true, I'm going to give you an example. There were three female politicians from Netherlands. They went to Iran the same day when one of the women of White Wednesday's movement put the headscarf on a stick and waved it in public, Shaparak Shajarizadeh, when she got arrested, the same day there were three female politicians from Netherlands in Iran obeying compulsory hijab law without challenging it. And the female politician from Sweden, they were very you know, well known when they started to publish their picture to mock President Trump's cabinet. It was full, you know, the female picture and mocking the picture of uh, President Trump's cabinet, which were all male dominated. I was like, I love this picture. It's a good way to criticize a male dominated cabinet. But what happened? The same feminist went to Iran, the same uh, ministers in Iran, they obeyed compulsory hijab laws in front of the president. I said to myself, well, when it comes to America, they were trying to say women and men are equal. But when it comes to Islamic Republic, they were trying to send another message. Well, men are more equal than women. So the female politician who go and visit to Iran, the tourists, the athletes, actress, all of them, when they go to my beautiful country, they say that this is a cultural issue. We wear it out of respect to the culture of Iran. Let me be clear with you. Calling a discriminatory law as part of our culture, this is an insult to a nation.